Let's talk about responsibility for value for a second. Whether you buy a blender or a car or a training or you know, whatever it might be, go out for a meal, the responsibility for value always lies with us. Now, the paradox is when you buy something, you expect that it would be fit for purpose. However, to get the value from that lies within ourselves. So let me give you an example. Let's say that uh, we've got two people that buy the exact same car. Let's say they bought four by fours. And so neighbor one, he parks his, his four by four in the garage and he only takes it out on a Sunday morning when he goes to church half a mile up the road, half a mile back, and then comes home and polishes it. Neighbor number two has got the exact same 4x4, and well, you know what, every weekend they go camping, they go jet skiing, they take the dogs to the beach, they hook the kayaks up, whatever it might be. And so they really, really, really get so much use out of that 4x4. Now, the exact same car. And four or five years later, when it's time to go and trade the car in for a new version, they go down to the dealership, and neighbor number one says, says, wow, you know what, this, this new car, the, the new version, I just don't think it's for me. You know, it's, it's, it's quite expensive, and uh, yeah, it, it's not for me. You know, I don't think I got that great value out of the car. Whereas neighbor number two goes and says, wow, yes, please, give it to me. You mean more traction, better performance? Absolutely, I'm going to have that car. Now, the cars were exact same, but it's up to the client or the person who purchased the product or the service to get that value from it. And so, as much as we expect to buy something and to get uh, for it to be fit for purpose, we've got to take the value out of it. You know, and it's like trainings or courses. I don't know if you've ever met anybody like this, you know. They, they do a training, and they take the most superb notes. In fact, they mind map, and they've got markers and shorthand, and they take notes that would make any PhD proud. And then they get home, and they take those beautiful notes, and they go to their note shelf, and they dust off the dust and they, and they go and put those notes up there next to all the other notes that they took at some stage in the past. And you might ask them, you know, say to them, oh, I'm busy learning NLP or coaching. They say, yes, I learned about some of that stuff before. And so all these techniques and all these skills that you're going to learn, it's our responsibility to, to take that information and to go and do something with it. And get the most out of it. You see some people do shelf help. And other people do self help. The question is. What are you going to do with these skills? What areas of your life. Are you going to utilize. To impact. Have that positive impact on your life. And of course those people that you work with.